hello students now the university exam is going on and you are worried about what are the practical questions asked by the external examiner in your practical examinations so don't worry students these are some questions and that should be asked on your practical examination that is based on analog communication practicals so here we start in analog communication the first thing or the first practical is that the amplitude modulation so on this amplitude modulation the first question may be asked by the examiner is define modulation so the answer of this question is modulation is a process by which some characteristics of high frequency carrier signal is varied in accordance with the instantaneous value of the modulating signal now the next question on amplitude modulation is what are the types of analog modulation so the types of analog modulation is amplitude modulation and angle modulation and frequency modulation phase modulation <laughs> define amplitude modulation so in amplitude modulation the amplitude of carrier signal is varied in accordance to variation in amplitude of modulating signal the am signal can be represented mathematically as eam equal to ec plus em sin omega t sin omega ct and the modulation index is given as m equal to em by ec this question on amplitude modulation is during modulation the information signal is called as fill in the blank and high frequency signal is called as what so during modulation the information signal is called as modulating signal and high frequency signal is called as carrier signal the next question is the carrier frequency is usually than the modulating frequency so the carrier frequency is higher than the modulating frequency now the next question on the practical of amplitude modulation is may be asked by the examiner that define the term modulation index for am so the modulation index is the ratio of amplitude of modulating signal that is em to amplitude of carrier what are the degrees of modulation so first under modulation that is m less than 1 that is modulation less than 1 critical modulation that is m equal to 1 and over modulation that is m greater than 1 what is the need for modulation so need for modulation is ease of transmission multiplexing reduced noise narrow band bandwidth frequency assignment and reduce the equipment limitations so these are the need of modulation amplitude modulation in amplitude modulation so the next question is give the classification of analog modulation so the analog modulation is classified as continuous wave modulation and pulse modulation so continuous wave modulation is again classified as follows that is amplitude modulation double sideband suppressed carrier single sideband suppressed carrier vestigial sideband suppressed carrier and in angle modulation there is a frequency modulation and phase modulation as far as the analog modulation is concerned we can give the classification as as above this then the next question on amplitude modulation practical is that define detection so what is mean by detection so detection is a process of extracting modulating signal from the modulated carrier different types of detectors are used for different types of modulations the next question is again on amplitude modulation practical is what is super heterodyne receiver so the answer is the super heterodyne receiver converts all incoming rf frequencies to a fixed lower frequency called intermediate frequency that is if and this if is then amplitude and detected to get the original signal question on the amplitude modulation practical is define demodulation 
so what is meant by demodulation so demodulation or detection is the process by which modulating voltage is re recovered from the modulated signal it is the reverse process of the modulation the devices used for demodulation or detection are called demodulators or detectors and for the amplitude modulation detectors or demodulator are categorized as the first is square law detectors and the second is envelope detector and most of the times we are using the envelope detector now the next viva question on the amplitude modulation practical is that what is the bandwidth for am wave so the bandwidth means the answer the difference between the these two extreme frequencies is equal to the bandwidth of the amplitude modulated wave and therefore bandwidth that is b or bw equal to wc that is omega c plus omega m minus omega c minus omega m equal to 2 omega m that is twice omega m now the next question is what is the maximum value of m for distortion free transmission so the maximum value for distortion free transmission is m is equal to 1 then the next question is what is the difference between percent of modulation and modulation index so the difference between percentage of modulation and modulation index is percent modulation is modulation index expressed as percentage now the next question is again that how is the information transmitted using am so by varying the instantaneous amplitude of the carrier in proportion with the instantaneous amplitude of the message signal or information after that next question is define modulation index of an am wave it is the ratio of peak amplitude of modulating signal and the carrier that is m equal to em upon ec this is the ratio of modulating signal and the carrier now furthermore where is the am used means what are the applications of amplitude modulation so the examiner most probably asked this question regarding your practicals that is where is the am is used so the answer is am is exclusively used for radio broadcasting applications for example pune a station uses am for broadcasting its program after that state the advantages of am means what are the advantages of amplitude modulation so in amplitude modulation practical again this is this question has more chances to be asked regarding this practical so the advantages of amplitude modulation is first the amplitude modulation is simplicity cost efficient am can travel longer distance and smaller bandwidth as compared to fm these are the advantages of amplitude modulation now again what are the disadvantages of amr so disadvantages of amplitude modulation are larger bandwidth requirement and large power requirement these are the two dis major disadvantages of amplitude modulation the next question is state the application of am so am or the amplitude modulation is used in radio and tv broadcasting so these are some questions that should be asked in the practical examination and i hope that this will really guide to you in your practical examination so thank you thank you very much and please subscribe my channel and in the next part we will see the questions regarding frequency modulation practical thank you thank you very much